We know the horrible news is that the U.S. continues to set records for COVID infections and hospitalizations every day. But there's one state that has seen a staggering increase in transmission. Tennessee has the highest rate of COVID-19 infections in transmission per capita in the country. You can see this on the map. You see the, the state is dark red with new cases jumping since the previous week. Yesterday, the governor blamed the surge largely on people ignoring advice from officials. The holidays have caught up with us. Decisions that some made during Thanksgiving are having a severe reality. One thing that this vaccine will not solve, one thing that it will not cure, is selfishness or indifference to what's happening to our neighbors around us. Joining me now uh, from Memphis is Dr. Steve Threlkeld. Thank you uh, for being here. You're in the middle of all of this. Do you agree with the governor's assessment as to the why? Well, uh, and thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, it's very certainly complicated. I mean, uh, through all the restrictions, through mandates and so forth, they can be very important. But at the same time, it's always been difficult to legislate uh, common sense and morality. And, you know, I see people being admitted to the ICU every day who say, I've done such a good job up until the dinner party I had, you know, 10 days ago. Uh, and they're right. That's a very bad idea. And we're seeing a lot of that uh, as people are, are getting sicker in much larger numbers. You know, he, he made those statements, the governor, um, saying, you know, people are acting selfishly and they're not, you know, following social distancing, et cetera. But there is there not, a, I mean, a lot more he could have done, right? There's not a statewide mask mandate there. I just wonder what your message might be for him this morning in terms of anything else the government can do. Well, I think certainly mandates have been helpful in a lot of places. And so anything we can do, uh, I'd be in favor of to, to cut this sort of uh, this nightmare that we're experiencing as the numbers go up. Our hospital has gone from 50 to 160 patients in the hospital. So, yes, I, th I think that's very important. But I also think that we have to use common sense. And, and that's something that no governor can impart to uh, to us as citizens. We have to be careful that people just are tired and they're getting together in larger numbers, both in families and friends. And they think, well, I won't get it that way because they're, they're close to me. But they're asymptomatic. They don't know they're giving it to you. Yep. And that's the problem that we're facing, I think. And we're so close. We're so close to the end. So why not stay healthy and keep your loved ones healthy for a few more months? You got vaccinated yeah. yesterday, as I understand. Is that right? I did. Uh, and, and I'm doing great. No, no side effects whatsoever. And I think... Uh, and I think hopefully the healthcare workers out there getting vaccinated um, are going to be a message for people because you're not going to sneak up on me with any concerns or potential side effects or problems. And, and you know, I discussed a couple of people having a reaction in Britain a week or so ago for about an hour. And I made the point that uh, during that hour, 106 people died of coronavirus while we were discussing two people that did great. So we hope that right. uh, that people will be encouraged to get this vaccine. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good message to people who may be skeptical. You've talked about the system uh, where you are creaking, that's the word you used. And it's not uh, a shortage of beds per se, like you can roll more in, you can make more space. But you say it, 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 it's basically at, uh, at a tipping point because of the staff, right? And not having enough bodies of experienced people to take care of folks. Sure. I mean, when we saw the disastrous kind of situations in New York initially, a lot of brave folks got on airplanes and flew to help take care of the situation in New York. Everybody is having difficulty now. There's no there's no uh, no forces to bring in to help places because everybody is having their own problem, particularly, obviously, here. Uh, uh, in the United States in, to begin with, and we're just seeing it really, uh, unfortunately, play out in a difficult way right now. Well, hopefully for anyone listening who can can help. I mean, you know, you guys clearly clearly need it. Uh, Dr. Threlkeld, thank you very, very much. And I'm, I'm glad to hear that you got vaccinated. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks for having me.